If you are a farmer dealing in livestock or crop farming, there is always need for a reliable water source throughout the year to be able to keep your crops and animals alive. Are you tired of high monthly water bills or are you far away from reliable water sources like swamps, lakes or rivers? In this video, I've prepared an easy step-by-step -step guide to solve all these problems using a solar water system. This system has the lowest maintenance costs in the long run and the supply of water is reliable 24-7 throughout the year. I'm going to share with you how we built the whole system in a period of 90 days. Homes, for example, with at least 10 users use HDPE storage tanks ranging from 3,000 liters to 5,000 liters up to 10,000 liters. So these three tank sizes fit the households. Medium population sizes, for example, villages, stainless steel HDG tank sizes ranging from 20,000 liters up to 100,000 liters. For high populated areas, for example, urban centers, municipalities, town councils, use galvanized steel tanks of storage 25,000 liters and above. And for this particular video, I'm going to share with you how we installed a solar water system for a village community when I was working with a certain charity organization from day 1 to day 90. A solar water system is made up of these three major components, a water pumping system, a solar system, and the reservoir tanks. A full water pumping system will majorly need these 10 tools. This is a gate valve and its major use is to completely shut off the water or provide full flow of the water in the pipeline. This is the compression female adapter and its use is to join the pipe to a male threaded valve or tap. This is an air release valve and its use is to ensure that any air that is entrained in the water system is automatically released in order to maximize the system performance. This is a gate valve brass thread. Its importance is to slow the operation and prevent water hammer effect. This is a male adapter and its use is to join a threaded metal or PVC plastic female bell end. This is a pressure relief valve to control the pressure levels. This is a meter which helps you to know how much water you have used. This is a non-return valve and its use is to prevent backflow or reverse flow of water. That is why you see these arrows facing this direction. This is a short radius elbow angle bend and its use is to change the direction of flow between two pipes. These are HDPE pipes and their major use is to allow the transmission of flow of water. From day 1 to day 30, we were able to build a strong base for the water tanks. We built a strong reinforced concrete base that is strong enough to support at least 20,000 liters. It took us more time here because at this stage, we had to wait for 14 days to allow the reinforced concrete to gain its strength and extensive curing. We later on installed the steel sections on top of these bases and placed the tanks. I made a full video about the full process on how we built this tank base. Check it out on the channel page. From day 30 to day 45, we excavated a transmission line from village to village up to 5 villages. The depth for this transmission line is 300 mm below the ground and the top distance is 200 mm. We excavated up to points for 15 tap stands. We later on had to lay the pipes and backfill. The tip here to avoid leakages at a later stage is that instead of cutting this pipe to make interconnections when changing the direction, instead bend the pipe itself without cutting. By doing this, you will lay the pipe from village to village without cutting the pipe while changing to your desirable directions. This will stop leakages and busts. From day 45 to day 60, we built 15 tap stands and the top finish here was just a simple cement paste. From day 60 to day 75, we installed a ground mount solar system. We installed its security light around the solar panels, installed a lightning conductor, and also built a fence around the solar panels. I also made a video about this whole process. The video is on the channel page, you will check it out later. From day 75 to day 85, we excavated to reach the underground well water level. We made necessary plumbing fittings and also connected the solar pump to the reservoir tank. From day 85 to day 90, we ensured that the whole system was working properly and there were no leakages. At day 90, we handed over the completed project. Shout out and thanks to LWF Charity Foundation in Germany Corporation who funded this project and helped out these communities. 
much appreciation. Lots of thanks to you the viewer who watched this video till the end. It means a lot to me. If you found the information in this video helpful to you, like the video and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.